Well, up until now, we've been doing everything in OBS with just one computer and even one display. So we kind of cheated our way around that one display problem by simply streaming a single window, and that window was Photoshop in all of our tests or demos so far. However, the time will probably come sooner than later where you really want to take full advantage of your desktop streaming setup and therefore not have any restrictions uh, of CPU usage by the streaming software over what you're trying to do. Maybe you're trying to dem demo something intensive like video editing or 3D work or whatever and you need every bit of horsepower on your computer to do those demos and not be taken away by the streaming software. So in this video we're going to talk about um, briefly just how to set up two computers one to be the streaming computer running OBS and the other to be your main demo computer. So I've still got OBS running on my MacBook Pro, the same MacBook Pro I'm doing the recording for this video. I've got a pretty cool little nifty uh, capture card here. This capture card is um, by a company called Magwell. And this particular capture card, on one end it has USB 3, on the other end it has um, HDMI. Uh, so HDMI in. So the computer that I would like to now do my demos from is my MacBook Air. So my MacBook Air unfortunately doesn't have HDMI out. So I'm going mini display port to an HDMI adapter into the video capture card. And then I'm going to plug that video capture card into the USB 3 of the MacBook Pro that's running OBS. So connecting the two computers together via this simple little box. Now, you don't have to go with this, this capture card. There's several different capture cards out there. Uh, I got great performance with this one. Didn't have to install any drivers on both Mac or Windows, so it works great. And by the way, my normal streaming setup is OBS or my streaming software running on a PC, and I do all my demos from the Mac. So it, it can even be two computers that are cross-platform. All right, so I'm going to plug in the USB 3 on the capture card here. And now what that will do is hopefully it will show up as a capture device in OBS on the Mac that's now my streaming computer. All right, so let's do that. Let's go to uh, OBS here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily turn off the source of Photoshop. We don't need that Photoshop window anymore because we're going to be demoing from the MacBook Air streaming through OBS on the other computer. So I do need to add in that new capture card. So I'm going to go to the video capture device and I'm going to create a new video capture device called, um, we'll call it MacBook Air. That's what it is. And of course, it's, you could call it Magwell or Blackmagic, whatever the card is you're using, but we're just, we'll call it that. And there it is. It showed up as a third device. So remember I had the two cameras. Now I have this third HDMI capture video. Now, for whatever reason, that capture card should support uh, 1080p, but it's only showing up as, as um, try one more time. It's only showing up as uh, 720p, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and click OK, and we'll just go ahead and stretch it out to the full 1080p window. Now, of course, it brought that in on top. We can either move it down piece by piece. Or we can, uh, on the Mac side, at least on OBS, we can drag it down as well. So we can have that be our rear window. So now you can see me uh, basically navigating Photoshop. There's the, the camera image and Photoshop on my MacBook Air is now showing through to OBS running on the other computer. So now my MacBook Air has no taxing, you know, OBS running on it. I can run multiple windows, multiple programs, uh, and do whatever I want on this computer as much as this computer can do. And all the heavy lifting of streaming is happening on the other computer, whether it be a Mac, Windows, or whatever. Um, and of course, that means both will use less CPU. As a matter of fact, now the CPU uh, since it's not having to stream Photoshop at the same time, it's down to 9%. It was, remember, it was up to around 20% just idling. So it dropped in half by not having to do both tasks at the same time. So now this acts like another camera as far as OBS is concerned on the other computer. Um, and of course, I can still, I would still use the other computer that's running OBS to configure cameras, lower thirds, all the stuff we've learned thus far, the green screen, everything else. I'm just using a video capture card to bring in the MacBook Air as my new demo computer 
over to OBS, but I still run all the streaming part on the OBS computer. And that's it. That's what you would need to do to be able to use a second computer as your streaming computer or your OBS computer, freeing up the horsepower of your main system to do your demos or presentations. And that means that now that this is configured, I can plug in any computer to um, demo from because it's all already configured on OBS. So any computer with HDMI out or mini display port out, um, I'm good to go. So I can demo from a Mac, demo from a PC, demo from any device with HDMI out, and it would show up on the OBS computer. That's it. Simple. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.